Question number 12, Sue Maroney. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by his statement to Radio New Zealand on June 17, 2016, that extending paid parental leave to 26 weeks, quote, would add, when it's fully in place, about $280 million a year? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, I was incorrect and should have used the numbers in the veto certificate. Uh, this is a useful opportunity to clarify the numbers. The government, well, just listen. The government currently spends about $280 million a year on paid parental leave. Labor's proposal, once fully implemented, would cost around $120 million per year on top of that, or $100 million per year net of tax. Net of tax, the proposal would cost $280 million over the next four years. Uh, However, I vetoed the bill based on the government's view uh, that this is unaffordable now, particularly in the light of other spending priorities that we have. In short, the policy uh, cost too much, and that's why we vetoed it. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Sue Moroni. Why did he repeat that incorrect figure four times throughout that interview, even when challenged by Guyan Espiner on the accuracy of it, given that just the day before he had issued a financial veto certificate stating that the additional cost in the 2018-19 year of full impl implementation would be just $116 million. How did he get it so Order. wrong on the four occasions? The question has been asked in a very lengthy fashion. The Honourable Bill oh, English. Mr Speaker, uh, because I confused the $280 million over four years with $280 million a year. Four times, Mr Speaker. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplement Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Sue Maroney. Well, can he explain then why did MPs Paul Foster Bell, Sarah Dowie and Mark Mitchell all claim in their committee stage speeches that the cost of the bill would be $445.8 million over the next four years, which was further embellished by Brett Hudson, who upped it to $466 million, oh, order. when the order. ministers... Order. 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 The question should be is doubtful whether there's ministerial responsibility, but I'll oh, let uh, the minister. Point, point of order? Order. Order. Oh, sorry. I'm He's allowing the minister okay. to address the question. You can answer. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, there's been a, a uh, welter of numbers around, uh, around the whole policy, but I'll just remind the House what the current policy is. That is, it was 14 weeks paid parental leave. This government extended it over two years to 16 weeks and then to 18 weeks. That currently costs about $280 million order. a year. Order. And we vetoed order. the extension. I apologise, Mr. Point of Order. Um, past due time order. now. He's finished order. The member will answer. resume her seat. If she wants to raise a point of order, I'll listen to it. But it's not about filibustering question time. So, no, Mr Speaker, my point of order, is and I'm, I was referring order, to the I'll fact... Just hear the point OK, of order. the point of order is that I didn't ask him about how many weeks he was. I, it was order. a very straight order. question. Order. And it was a very... It was a question that for which there was no ministerial responsibility for what various back members have said. I should have ruled it out of order in the first place. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Sue Moroni. Does the Minister recall using the same tactic when the bill was first drawn in 2012, telling the public it would cost an additional $500 million over three years, when he had in fact received official advice before making that statement, showing the true cost was a maximum of $285.6 million over three years? Why does he keep more order, than doubling order, the cost? Order, the member needs to sharpen up a supplementary question. The Honourable Bill English. <laughs> Order, order, order. Oh, my patience will run out with C. Maroney. I've, we've had lengthy supplementary questions that strictly are out of order. I'm trying to assist her get an answer, but if she continues to interject when the minister rises to his feet, I see no question, uh, no point in carrying on. Uh, Honourable Bill English, briefly. Oh, Mr. Speaker, the member needs to sharpen up. She needs to sharpen up her ability to win electorate seats after I think. After I think five losses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. 
Ora. 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 This is a point of order. You got it right. I certainly hope it is. Point the right honourable Winston Peters. Mr. Speaker, first of all, you ticked off the questioner. Uh, for trying to put together a couple of examples of what the question was about. And then the minister gets up and starts off with a blatant insult, and you did nothing as usual about it. Order. And in uh, retrospect, I probably should have said to the minister that the answer wasn't helpful, but we've had a series of questions that have been very politically loaded. When you get such order, when you get questions like that, it tends to lead to quite uh, political responses from ministers. We will move on. Uh, supplementary question, if uh, I may, provided Mr Provided order. I just want to warn the member, provided it's in line with standing orders, I'll hear a supplementary. If it's a oh, lengthy one like... Point of order. No, no, I'm speaking to the member. <coughs> I'll accept a supplementary question, but that's got to be in line with, sup uh, with standing orders. Of course, Mr question. Speaker. Why is the National Party so determined to mislead New Zealanders on the cost of extending paid parental leave to 26 weeks by more than doubling the costs that have been determined by government officials? Order. I'll leave the question to stand, but when the answer is political, the House should not object. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the National, the national uh, Government is keen to extend paid parental leave as we can afford it, weighed, with, weighed, up, weighed up with other alternatives. For instance, on the 1st of April, the poorest over 100,000 families in New Zealand uh, got $25 a week extra per week. We could have used that money to extend paid parental leave, but we thought the best balance was some extension in paid parental leave and $25 a week for all well all families on a benefit with children and we think that's about we got the balance about right point of order order point of order point of order sue Moroni. Uh, mr speaker that was a very interesting answer but at no point did he um, answer the question order. about why they're more than order. doubling the, Again, the costs i invite the member to go back it started off by saying why did the national party do something the minister has responsibility for the government but certainly not for the national party and that concludes questions for oral answer. I have